California's Diablo Canyon nuclear power plant generates more than 8% of the state's electricity. It's California's largest nuclear plant. Now it can also lay claim to being the state's last. A demonstration near a nuclear power plant. During the late 1970s and 80s, Diablo Canyon became a flashpoint for environmentalists. Advocates of nuclear power claim life would return to colonial days without the electricity these plants provided. We're gonna save Diablo Canyon. The time is here at last. But just last week, environmental group Friends of the Earth reached an agreement with Pacific Gas and Electric. Diablo Canyon will shut down its two nuclear reactors by 2025, replacing them with renewable energy like solar, water, and wind. It's really a historic agreement because unlike other nuclear phase-outs that in some cases have led to increases in greenhouse gases from the use of fossil fuels, this is a nuclear phase-out driven entirely by renewable energy and energy efficiency. The U.S. currently has 61 nuclear power plants in operation with a total of 99 reactors. But since 2013, 14 reactors have either been shut down or are scheduled to be retired early. Environmentalists hope California's decision will help spread the no nukes campaign globally. It also reflects massive changes within energy in California, which are the same changes in China and elsewhere. The fact of the matter is that baseload power is a thing of the past. That when the sun and the wind are out, going, you actually want to be able to absorb all of that renewable energy. But the nuclear plant is actually an obstruction. But the director of the nuclear policy program at the University of California, Santa Cruz, still has concerns based on past behavior of power plant management. They cut corners on trying to determine whether there's a seismic risk. Hirsch says when Pacific Gas and Electric built the plant, it claimed no active earthquake faults were within 30 kilometers. But researchers discovered one, then two, then three, and finally four active faults. The nuclear industry has been very short-sighted. Um, it has been brought to its knees by Chernobyl, by Fukushima, by Three Mile Island, and yet it never seems to learn the lesson that you don't cut corners with a device that has a thousand times the long life radioactivity of the Hiroshima bomb. Her cites the Santa Susana reactor meltdown in Southern California. It happened in 1959, and it's still being cleaned up today. He's also written about the lack of safeguards against terrorism at nuclear plants. As good as it is that they will phase out the Abel Canyon by 2025, we have to get very lucky that between now and 2025, there's no earthquake, there's no terrorist attack, there's no mistake made by an employee, there's no piece of equipment that fails. Looking at the redwood trees of California, Hirsch says he's reminded why he still clamors to close Diablo Canyon as soon as possible. He says people can get careless when they close down a business, but when it comes to nuclear reactors, any drop in standards could be catastrophic. Mark New, CCTV, Mountain View, California.